Welcome to another video from explainingcomputers.com. This time I'm going to talk about USB 3, a new means of connecting things to computers. Also known as Superspeed USB, USB 3 is a faster version of the Universal Serial Bus introduced in 1996. Whereas USB 1 had a maximum data transfer speed of 12 megabits per second, and the current version of USB 2 maxes out at 480, USB 3 can theoretically transfer data at 4.8 gigabits per second. This is significantly faster than Firewire, and also compares favourably with SATA. USB 3 is backwards compatible with the 6 billion USB devices already sold. Indeed, when you first compare a Type-A USB 3 plug to its USB 2 counterpart, they look pretty much identical. Granted, there are slight changes in the shape of the moulding, and all USB 3 leads and jacks are colour-coded bright blue. However, if you look inside a USB 3 plug, you will see that in addition to the four contact points we all know and love, there are now five contact points in the back to allow for the transmission of more data. These then marry up with the five new contact points in the front of a Type-A USB 3 socket. There are, however, significant shape changes to other connectors to include the extra set of pins. For example, as you can see, the Type-B connector has had an extra section added on the top. Due to the way that the new connectors have been designed, it is possible to plug USB 2 cables into USB 3 devices to run them over a USB 2 interface. However, not least to avoid any possible damage, USB 3 cables cannot be connected to USB 2 peripherals. Slowly, new motherboards are starting to be fitted with USB 3. However, at present, most people will need an add-on card like this one from StarTech if they want to use the new standard. This fits into a spare PCI Express slot to provide two USB 3 ports. However, it should be noted that such ports may be limited to a maximum of 2.5 gigabits per second due to the speed of many PCI Express slots. Finally, let's finish off with a real-world speed comparison. Here, I am copying the same 848 megabyte file to the same external hard drive. The only difference is that in the first instance I'm using a USB 2 connection, and in the second, USB 3. As you can see, in this test, based on a USB 3 port on a PCI Express add-on card, a speed increase of about 2.5 times is obtained. Within five years, most of us will be using USB 3. However, for anybody who wrangles a great deal of data, it's a standard worth investigating sooner rather than later. For more information, please see the hardware section of explainingcomputers.com. But for now, that's it for another video, and I hope to talk to you again very soon.